I ain't finished with your brother Asad, and we are back again with another quick video. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notifications bell so that you'll be notified when we drop new material on this channel. Secondly, in terms of housekeeping, I got to give a special and a significant and a particular and a peculiar shout out to my South African family for all the love you guys have shown this channel, my wife, myself, my children. We greatly appreciate it. Third, in terms of housekeeping, bam, 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 just like that. Bam, bam, bam. Just like that. We got to give a special and a significant and a particular and a peculiar shout out to the rest of the family. To the UK family, to the Namibia family, the Botswana family, the Texas family. The Florida. Family. The Flo oh, shout out to Florida. Stand oh, man, up. Oh, man. Stand up, Florida. Mm. We see you. We've been there. Yeah. As New Orleanians, we have been there. Right? So y'all can come on to New Orleans. Call it New Florida, New Florleans. Mm -mm. <laughs> uh, just like in Florida, you're not gonna be able to get no affordable flood insurance there either. <laughs> but we we appreciate we appreciate so uh, New Orleans, Louisiana, because they're two separate things. I gotta get that out of the way. We appreciate uh, the people who took us in after our devastating storm, and that was Texas, that was Atlanta, um, and some parts of Florida. So, because we sympathize and we empathize, stand up, Florida, y'all hold your head, you know? So, um, fourth in terms of housekeeping, bam, 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 just like that. Bam, 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 just like that. Oh, the book is here. Mm, mm, mm. And look, I made the cover. She made the cover. Boy, look at that. So, look, the book is here. If you want to sign up to be the first to know when the book is released, I'm going to leave a link in the thing. You hear me? I'm going to leave a link in the thing. A link in the thing. But let's talk about it. Bam. A bam, bam, bam. Just like that. So, this is Find Home Again. It's him. It, 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 November 1st is going to be released. We're just working on some things. And we're going to have us a party. We might do a Frankie, and Beverly, a Frankie Beverly and Mays party. All white book release party. All white book release Ready. party. Ready. Yeah, we gonna be playing Golden Time of Day. It's the golden time of day. <laughs> Frankie! Frankie! Right, I want to tell y'all, the book is here. Find Home Again. It'll be available on uh, ebook. It'll be available in print in the U.S. and in South Africa. So this is how we gonna do it. It, re it will release on November 1st. On November 1st. <laughs> and then at the end of November, like around the 28th, 29th, 30th, around that time, we'll have us a good old-fashioned book release party. Mm -hmm. And we're we, we, we going to do it, and, and we're going to do it big. And then that'll give you like a month for those who support. That'll give you a month to actually read the book, digest it. And then, you know, doing the thing, you could, you know, I could sign, right? Mm -hmm. I can do a little book signing, you hear me? You better catch them before they disappear for December. That, that's what I'm saying. This is a great Christmas gift. <laughs> this is a great Christmas gift. Get this to your big mama, your go-go, your, your, uh, your, your, uh, what, how you say sister? Uh, uh, I said CC. CC, auntie, um, um, booty, uh, booty, booty. One of them is booty, uh, booty, or something like that. Oh, I think that's brother. I don't forgot. I'm learning Zulu. But yeah, great Christmas gift. <laughs> great Christmas gift. I feel like I'm hawking. You know, it used to be like that. Uh, what's his name? Ron. Somebody. He always had them little adventures on TV at night. Oh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I want to talk a little oh, bit about. You know. Yeah, nine ninety nine. Call me now. <laughs> I want to talk a little bit about this cover, y'all, so y'all can understand. Like, what does this have to do with finding home again, right? So up here is the most important person in my life. That's my wife. So, uh, and this is when we were in Tanzania in two thousand and nine. And in the book, I discuss our time in Tanzania in two thousand and nine. This man right here is my grandfather. His name is Austin. Named He ain't named after my son. My son named after him. And in the book, I discuss his legacy. 
and how it impacted the decisions that I made to, and I ain't never met him. He was dead long, 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 long time before I was born. But the lessons he taught my mama impacted us and the, the ideas, his idea of the world, his vision of a place where his children could live free and mm. not be uh, burdened by the plantation. And you'll understand what I mean when you read the book. These people right here, that's my mom, that's my mama, that's my daddy, and that's my sister. Unfortunately, because of the way it was a uh, thing, this cut off, but we have improved that. We know this is a proof copy. So we have improved it so my sister's face can be fully shown, but you can actually see it right there. And uh, so these are, so when we talk about home, these people have formed my home. These people, this man formed the concept of of, of what I wanted my children to be. Well, you, you get into the book. Read. And then, then this one right here, this is me as a baby. This is hey, the old. Zoom in on it. Zoom in on the teeth. Oh, can you see the teeth? <laughs> With a camera. At? Oh, lack right there. <laughs> no, I had teeth. Wait, that's teeth? Yeah, they had the silver teeth. Oh, the silver teeth. I had the silver teeth. My yeah, had like yeah, I was slugged up. That's what we call that back in the day, <laughs> like some gold teeth. You heard me? Yeah, but that that picture right there is 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 the only picture I have of me as a child. Why? Because of Hurricane Katrina mm. and Hurricane speaking Katrina. Hurricane. Yeah, speaking of hurricanes in Florida, it's very timely right now. Mm. Uh, because of the hurricane, I don't have baby pictures. Mm. I don't have old yearbooks. I don't have family video. All that gone. All that gone. So I talk about the, the impact that had on my understanding of home. Like when you don't, you know, something about having that momento. You pick up an old picture and you look, girl, you remember when we was doing this? Mm -hmm. And y'all reminisce, that man, that same day, so-and-so happened. Yeah, just like memory lane, right? Because <laughs> the picture sparks the memory. It does. It sparks the memory. You hear me? Yeah. So when you ain't got no pictures. And usually when you go home, like, you know, when you have vacations and stuff and you all gather at someone's house. Somebody will pull out that Somebody album. Somebody pulls out the old picture album and you start, oh, look at you. You remember this? You're right, boy, boy. Yeah. That was your high school. I ain't got no pictures from high school graduation. No, we don't have from that prom. now because everything's digital. Yeah, but people will still pull out their phone and go through a picture true, or something with true, you. True, true, I don't have no pictures to go through. So that's why that's important to me because I talk about, um, um, you know, we, we we mentioned the physical destruction of hurricanes, but mm -hmm. there's also all of this emotional destruction and not just about rebuilding that. It's these kind of secondary things that take place, secondary and tertiary mm -hmm. things that take place after you've dealt with such devastation that you don't really realize like, oh, wow. You know, you go to somebody's house and you see a, the, the picture of them from their prom and you be like, I ain't got no prom pictures. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Find home again. Find home again. We talk about South Africa. We talk about Tanzania. We talk about Hill Brown. It's, it's in there. No, we don't talk about Hill Brown. We don't talk about Hill Brown. We don't talk about Hill Brown. Man, what's going on with Eskon? Mm. Huh? Mm. That's what we want to talk so about today. People have so much criticism of South Africa. I saw, in fact, I saw a video the other day where somebody was comparing it. They were talking to a black American saying Kenya is better. Than, than South, South Africa? Africa. I don't um, know. I'll be in Kenya. one of the things. And yeah, I told you, you'll be I'll able be in to, Kenya in about two weeks. You'll be able to comment on that. But one yeah. of the things they mentioned was like, oh, the uh, electricity situation is better. Now, we've had electricity uninterrupted how long? Ooh, about seven, eight months now. It's been a long time. Almost a year. I don't know if it's been no year. I don't think it's been a year. Because it was but this year. it's been year. quite yeah. some time. Months. Months without no I, I knew Bring it. load shedding <laughs> back. Bring load because these bills is too high. Man, the bills are so S-Com, you tripping. Like, Woo! Bring load shedding back. My bill might have like quadrupled. This ridiculous. I was just like, what? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Cut everybody power. No, I said we gonna start <laughs> pretend like it's low shedding. We switch it to that inverter every day, you know, for so many hours. Cut it off just like it's low shedding. We gonna reenact it. I think they charge people on the states more. Y'all check this. Somebody gonna put the information in the thing. I think if you live on the state, they charge you more for energy. That ain't fair. 
That ain't fair. I should be charged for what I'm using. Yeah, I mean, dog on. I, our bills in the States wasn't this high when it came to no energy. No, this is the highest energy bill I've ever had in my life. I'm Look, telling you. That's when it was it was colder, because mm. that's when it really spiked, like in the winter months. Uh, we were running those those heaters. Yeah. Mm. As soon as I saw that bill, the heaters went off. They haven't been back on, not an AC, not a heater. Look, and I'm in, come back on sink. I'm in bed sweating <laughs> it so hot. I, we got the damn fan and just... The windows are a fan! fan. A I'm fan don't really again. cool you off. A fan <laughs> just blow <laughs> hot air all over you. <laughs> so now I feel like a blanket of hot air just all over you. No, man. Y'all adjust. No, S calm. <laughs> F calm. Come to the front of the class. Come to the front of the class because what is going on with these prices? <laughs> This is right. outrageous. Like, this might move you to a different bracket of affordability. I don't know. I'm like, I don't. How Namibia looking? I might have to go to Namibia. <laughs> <laughs> How they SCOM? They work with SCOM? I don't know. I might have to go somewhere else. I, I don't know. This is expensive. like getting off grid. I see what yeah. y'all are doing the big investments to be completely off grid. I think they man. make it up for all the times that they had low shedding because you couldn't charge people when they wasn't pulling on electricity. You see what I'm saying? Mm. So now they like, oh, okay, everybody on it. We gonna make up for the last ten years of load shedding <laughs> on Kailami. We gonna do it all on Kai. <laughs> Kailami gonna make it up for us. Ten thousand. Oh, what? bro, this outrageous, man. But yeah, <sighs> yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. One second, y'all. Hold on. So yeah, um, Kenya. We were talked about. I will be in Kenya. In two weeks mm, mm. in Nairobi. So if there's any of the Nairobi family that's watching, shout out to the Kenyan family. What good food they got in Kenya? P pilau. They got pilau. Maybe on the coast. Maybe so. Do they, they eat pilau like in Nairobi? I know they. I'm sure they do in like Mombasa on the coast. Like yeah, that's yeah. Why well, I don't know, but I talked to Kenyan people, a brother from Kenya. They do. And he was like, I was like, well, is, is Nairobi like Joe Berg? Because, you know, it's a big city. Yeah. And they was like, he was like, nah, it ain't, you know, he was like, it ain't Joe Berg. So that settled that Kenya, Joe, South Africa debate. <laughs> <laughs> he from Kenya. <laughs> he from now. That's his hood. Yeah, if, he, if somebody tell you, nah, I'm, they from now. You know what I'm saying? If I tell you, look, 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 look. If I tell you that Johannesburg is better than New Orleans, listen to, well, not me say it. I ain't gonna never say it's better because New Orleans is still home. But in terms of infrastructure, in terms of, that's sad. yeah, in mm -hmm. terms of infrastructure, yes, indeed, Johannesburg is a light years ahead of, New Orleans look like a, a, a hurricane. I saw it on the channel. <laughs> That's what I tell people in the book. <laughs> Find <laughs> home again. <laughs> no, no, I'm telling people I'm from the hill brow of America. I said that in the last video. Like, so, but yeah, if, if I tell you that New Orleans, that Joe Berg infrastructure is better than New Orleans, I've got the right to say that. I'm from there. So when this man told me Joe Berg got better infrastructure than Nairobi, I, I got to roll with him. He, that's his hood. He ain't going to lie on his, you know. But you have to, you have to see what, what the vibe's like. What yeah. What the vibe's like. Well, Kenya. Yeah. That's going to be interesting. So that's going to be another African country under the belt. Yeah, I get to see Kenya. I'm, you know, I'm a whole Pan-African out show. <laughs> yeah, that part. Uh, <laughs> what else we got going on? Oh, Man, people keep calling me. So look, um, yeah, so Kenya, uh, and then after I do Kenya, I have to do the United States. Mm. And I got to go to the U.S. the week after the election. Y'all pray for me. Because mm. it might be a whole civil war. They might be, if, look, I'm glad I got to go after the election because if, 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 if I see some foolishness, Man, look at my arm shaking like that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, my God. Wait a minute. Oh, 
I'm, look, I'm about to end this video right now and go to the gym. <laughs> wow! Is that real? <laughs> Man, <laughs> I got yeah. So yeah, no, I'm going to the gym. Get back right, man. Jesus Christ. Um, I can't wait for this to be over. The the election. Man, so they still say <laughs> Kamala and your boy in a dead heat. Like it's it's like wow, sway. Anybody else feel like <laughs> the election old news and it ain't even happened yet? Like <laughs> it feel like people just. It was like, ain't nobody got shot in a while. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm <laughs> It's been nothing like the election less than a month away, right? Because it's on November 4th, 7th. I don't know. It's like the first week of November and first Tuesday in November or something like that. And it's like, that's right there. But nobody is, it's not really in the news. It's in the news. Yeah. But it's not in the news. Like just a couple of weeks ago, it was oh Kamala, uh, Trump got shot. Trump got to try to shoot him again. Major things happening to take over the news cycle. Yeah, like two monster hurricanes in a row. Bam, bam, just then like you that. Got yeah. these bombings happening. Israel, Iran getting it. So it's just yeah. like major things that keep jumping into the news cycle. Like oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, and 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 it kind of through the um. It's kind of throwing this feeling of, so I read an article yesterday, last night, matter of fact, might have been early this morning, like one or two in the morning, and it was saying that Trump and your girl are still in a dead heat. Mm -hmm. So it felt like for a while, they was just like trying to give us the vibes, like what your boys say it was a vibes election, and we got Kamala, and this is the vibe, but the thing about vibes is what? They could change. Mm, right? Mm. Vibes change. You know what I'm saying? People you were vibing with, you can unvibe with them. You know what I'm saying? And I think right now, the excitement of Kamala, the excitement of the prospect of having uh, the first female black pre and then also, well, the excitement is worn off, and then also, we don't have any, like my mama would say, stick to itness. <laughs> Stick to it. Stick to itness. See, people were excited a month ago. Are they gonna be excited enough to go to them polls on two and on on Tuesday for the election? You see what I'm saying? Like they were motivated then. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying? AKA ski wee. Whoop de whoop. You know what I'm saying? Um they were doing all that and now all of a sudden I, I'm just saying from what my social media look like, you know, it doesn't seem like People are that engaged anymore. If somebody's watching you and they just heard you say, "Oh yeah, AKA Ski we Whoop de Whoop," they have no idea if, not, <laughs> if they don't know the context. They're looking like, "Why did you say Ski we Whoop de Whoop?" <laughs> AKA sorority. She's a member of Ski we a little call. They make to greet one another. So yeah, that's the context behind. Yeah, that. yeah, my bad. I, yeah, so <laughs> we, we like in my organization, we say blue fire. You know, it's just it's a call. Call and response. Call and response. That's all. It's, it's real African in nature, even though. Mm -hmm. But it's anyway, it's, <laughs> it's not real African in nature. Even well, it's because it come from us. But um. But it's like you just wanted to to get to what it's gonna be. Mm. You know, we've been talking about this a very long time. Yeah. So it's like it's just time to get to what it's gonna be. But you don't even hear oh Project Twenty Twenty Five. You don't even hear none of that no more. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. like so that's concerning because. Mm -hmm. The do you know the algorithm has now moved away from the election, and I'm sure as we get closer the week before or so, it's going to ramp back up. But yeah. I am concerned about the level of motivation and keeping people motivated to actually go to the polls. Listen, I don't want Trump in the office. That's a bad decision. Woo. That's a bad decision. I don't think Kamala is no savior or nothing like that. But, you know, if some, you know, like, she better than him. <laughs> At the end of the day, she better than him. And if that's all we got. Most normal you know, thinking, rational human beings. <laughs> yeah, just anybody. I, I could find one of them men over here uh, controlling traffic during uh, 
<laughs> uh, doing the load shed, and I can make them better than Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump ran the country like the taxi drivers drive. That <laughs> <laughs> That's how he ran the country like the taxi drivers drive. Oh, we can't have that. Chaos of it. Yeah. Mm. So I don't well, know. Let's just get to it. Let's get to it, man. No one is still undecided. It's not like anyone said, I don't know. I just don't know. Swing voters ain't no swing I think people are very voters. clear on who they will support. So it's, let's just do the vote. Let's get this done. Get it over with. Yeah. Get it over with. We should really have him box it out in, 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 the, in the ring. Fight in the street or something. If you really want to prove you the king. Anyway, man. She could be. She takes a... <laughs> the old man. <laughs> hey. I heard he uh, wear diapers. I did. I read that it wasn't a legitimate thing. They say he wear uh, the pins. Y'all know what the pins are? You might need to wear some depends. Yeah, that's when you, you know? can't. That's for the old. That's old people diapers. But they don't call them diapers here. Wait, a napkin? Nappy? Yeah, a nap, a nappy, a napkin here is what we call a diaper. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. So yeah, I heard he wear napkins. <laughs> not, uh, not the serviettes, but. Uh, not a mm, kind of nap. Aging can be so harsh. Yeah. <laughs> That's harsh. <laughs> Man, y'all, talking about aging. Oh, goodness. Y'all see all these grays in my bed? Like, this is crazy. This is really crazy. You, you don't see it? Yeah, but. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't, yeah. I'm supposed to be forever young. No. I wanna be. I might just die a black so I could look young. Mm -mm. No, two things. No. I mean, if that's what you want to do, do you? Do you? Family. Okay, nothing stop that aging process. Hey. Not really. The only thing that can stop it is that. My daddy told me the only way. <laughs> the only way you don't get old is to die young. Really? I said, well, look, that's a hell of a decision. I'm going to have to roll with this old I'm going to roll with this old one then. But anyway, family, this was kind of impromptu because I got excited because the book came and I was like, oh, let's just jump on and, <laughs> and, share, with and you. share with you guys. Listen, I'm really excited about the book, family. I do want you guys to support the book. Um, uh, not because I need your money. You know, I don't want to look like that. Like, oh, I'm trying to beg for your money. But I wanted you guys to hear my story. Mm -hmm. I want you guys to understand the circumstances that created brother aside, doctor aside, right? The, the stuff that I went through, and then at the end, you understand why, boom, South Africa is home. Mm -hmm. And that's why you no can again. find home again. Bam, bam, bam. Just like that. All right, family, have a good one.